Hi Aquarius, welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do your May reading. Let's go ahead and get started by finding what your overall energy is going to be for the month. All right. I hope you are doing great. It's a beautiful time of year. Okay, let's see what it is. <laughs> Wonderful energy, Aquarius. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic. The ability to make anything more beautiful. A love of family and home. Be practical about how you proceed. A love of art and beauty. A sensible approach. Wonderful energy. Absolutely wonderful. And one of the things um, about this particular energy that I feel is that there's much balance here. She brings in the pinnacles and she also has this wonderful family life and she manages to balance the two. So for me, it also means balance. So during the month of May, it looks like you have a beautiful, mature energy that's abundant and has a, you know, a really together home life and that you have balance. So this is a beautiful energy to start with. Let's go ahead and get a few Oracle cards and then we'll go into the tarot. Let's see what we find out. Beautiful way to begin. Yeah, this is one of my favorite cards in the tarot. Love that energy. Okay, let's see what we have. <laughs> Another beautiful card you have to the sea. And now to the sea means that you are in the flow with the universe. So it's a wonderful energy. And that's the way I feel about um, the Queen of Pentacles. You know, being so balanced. And here, that's what this is. Being very balanced and in the flow. So month of May looks like it might be starting off just beautifully. Let's see what else we can find out. Let me do that again. Okay, let's see what we have. <laughs> I love this. Absolutely love it. To me, this is one of the very best cards in this deck. You have happiness. So it looks so far like things are going smoothly, which is huge. You know what the way things are around the world? It is so nice to see something like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Another beautiful energy. Okay. Now we are going to save the angel card for last. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some tarot and see what it would like to share. So yeah, let spirit be your guide and it looks like you are. Mm -hmm. You have a very balanced energy. It looks like you are in the flow. Home life is good, career life. Love it. Okay, another wonderful card. This is the Ace of Swords. This is where you are having a new beginning. What a way to start, right? This is where you are very clear in your thinking. And because of the cards with it, especially this, I see a lot of wisdom. Knowing where you want to go. You know, seeing the path before you. Mm-hmm. And spirit is here helping you. 
Whoa, we had one just fly out. Let me get that. You can't ask for better. No. Beautiful. And notice, to the sea, even the hawk spirit, the ace of swords and the empress are all looking at your energy. It's all going forward. The empress is a beautiful energy. She's filled with these wonderful ideas. She's the mother archetype. And things flow to her, you know. Um, now, <laughs> of course, if you want something, you need to take the steps to go forward. But it will come to you. It will meet you. Wonderful energy. Okay, let's get one more card. We cannot take the handful. No. How many do we have here? Okay, I guess we can take the handful. I don't know how I'm going to fit them all in. Okay, here we go. We're going to take the handful. You have the Page of Wands. Here you have a new beginning, one where you're thinking clearly. You see the path. You know which way to go. And you're using your wisdom and your Empress Energy. Here, you have the Page of Wands, who is so excited and enthusiastic about going forward. It's almost too hard to hold themselves back, right? So there, it looks like there might be something that you're wanting to get started. And remember, the Empress is filled full of ideas. So it looks like, of course, you're filled with full, full of ideas, but there's one or two only you're going to know that you're really excited about starting. Now, let me see if I can try to get these all in here. And here's another new beginning. This one is the Ace of Pentacles, which means it's a new lucrative beginning. And of course, you have the Queen of Pentacles, which is you. So you, whatever this idea is, is going to prove most likely to be very beneficial Mm -hmm. and it's going to be very abundant and abundance can mean different things to different people this is talking about pentacles but it can be anything that you desire that you want okay here you have the world which means a successful completion of a cycle and the beginning of a new one so in essence you have one two three new beginnings and here you have the Queen of Pentacles again, which is your overall energy. So this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. It just like doubles the power of this. And this is already a powerful card. And if you notice, you have this one um, major arcana. You have these court cards. And these aces. So this is a big time for you. Oh, another major arcana. The Wheel of Fortune. And again, you know, something I noticed in one of the last readings I did. If you look at this lady standing on top of the Wheel of Fortune, she is doing, I guess what you could call it a modified tree pose, that which is a yoga pose. And I've tried to do this, and I fall over all the time. <laughs> I can't do it. But the whole point of this is balance. Remember I said for me, this card is balance. So you have balance here. Another Queen of Pentacles, which is balance. And look at the balance here. I don't know if you've ever done yoga. If you haven't, try the tree pose. It is, for me, a huge challenge. But... This is saying the will of fortune is turning in your favor. Absolutely beautiful. We could just like stop the reading because it was so good. And now you have the four of swords, which is another wonderful energy. This is saying, take time to pamper yourself. Take care of yourself. Put yourself as a priority. Okay. 
make for sure that you give yourself what you need during this time. If it's rest, rest. If it's play, you need to go play. Whatever it is that you need to feel whole and happy, you know, you need to give that to yourself. This is a beautiful reading. There is no challenges so far. We still, I'm going to get some more. But you still need to put yourself first in order to be able to care for others, right? Like here's your family. You need to be able to take care of yourself in order to be as effective as you want to be for others. Okay, so it really is an important thing. I do have to check something here. If you look at the page of wands, she's looking at you. Let's see. The world, she's looking straight ahead. Okay, the other Queen of Pentacles is looking that way. Straight ahead. And the rest card is looking at you. I just wanted to check those out to see how many of them are looking straight at you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just had to look. Now let's see. I hope all these will fit. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this is my fun bit. Mm -hmm. I can be a bit of a goofball sometimes. And I just love the whimsy of this deck. I love the imagery of this deck. But this is so... Oh look! Queen of Pentacles again. Third time. Wow. Triple in the importance. Okay? The Queen of Pentacles is very important in your reading this month. But um, what I was showing you is just how whimsical this is. I love it. So this means you have the Queen of Pentacles three different times. Huge. Yeah. Okay. So let's go on. And see what else we, this wants to come out, have. The Seven of Swords. Okay, I'm sure what this is meaning in this reading is you need to be true to you. Okay? It's extremely important. All this is very, very positive, and this can have a few different meanings. But because of all these cards here, I'm sure this is saying, be true to you. Okay? It's very important. It's beautiful. And it looks like you have been. So continue to be. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that card, you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords bases everything on what she knows to be truth. Her truth, which would be your truth. Okay? Truth. Be true to yourself. Okay, let's get a few more cards here. Maybe we can get just one or two for this. Yeah, this deck is just so whimsical. <laughs> All right. The back isn't. The back looks... Just lovely. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is definitely a charmed reading. You have the Empress and the Emperor. Mm hmm. The Emperor is extremely powerful. It's like if you took all the kings and wrapped them up. Here you have the Emperor. The Emperor makes very important decisions, um, he's very disciplined. Very powerful, very mature. And these are divine counterparts. And they're right in the same column. Very, very powerful. Okay. Wow. That one did to come out. <laughs> okay. Awesome. You have the magician. And what the magician says is you have everything you need with you and within you to create the reality that you want. So you have it all. 
Wow. It's just, I keep saying wow, but it's such a beautiful reading. So if there's anything that you want, which it definitely looks like there is because you have the Empress and here you have the Page of Wands. There is an idea or ideas that you have that you would really like to put into action. This definitely would be the time to go forward with that, okay? Definitely. And at the bottom of this deck, you have the Ace of Wands. And I know here you have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and now you have the Ace of Wands, which is a wonderful card. The Ace of Wands is a beginning of something that you're very passionate about. So there's a few things in this reading that really stand out to me. And one of them is that you have an idea or ideas that you really want to get going. And that the Ace of Swords is very clear thinking about it. The Ace of Wands is this great desire to get it going, which you are. And the Ace of Pentacles is telling you it's going to be lucrative. And I never did look at the bottom of this deck. I don't know if there's any room to put it here. Um, hmm. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'll set it right here. Let me scoot this closer. You have the King of Pentacles. I should have looked at that right after I took the last card. So you have the Queen and King of Pentacles. Again, a divine counterpart. Right? So you have the Emperor and Empress and the Queen and King of Pentacles. It's a beautiful, beautiful reading. So it looks like May is going to be a good month. Now being humans, you know, we can all have our moments. But it looks wonderful. This is one of those wow readings. I'm trying to think of how to title it. Something like, wow, the best reading ever. Okay, let's get a few more cards here. Five of Pentacles. Okay, that just blew it out of the water. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't really. The Five of Pentacles is, um, it can mean a few different things. One, you know, feeling alone. Feeling desolate, potentially destitute, but it is, you can see by the image how alone they look like they feel and without hope. But another interpretation is success after difficulty. All right. And here you have the Seven of Swords. Remember, be true to yourself. So. You have the Ace of Swords, a new beginning when you're thinking clearly. So the way I'm tying this in together is there might have been some question, some doubt, some concern, uh, maybe, you know, like I said, doubt, not quite believing that you can do whatever this is that you're wanting to do. But something comes in, right? where you realize, oh, yes, I can. Which could very well be spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Maybe asking your angels, right? Talking to spirit, praying. And then realizing that you can definitely do this, which brings in this new beginning. Okay. Now, the Empress and the Emperor. The Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is a fast-moving knight. And this particular knight is going for their passion. So once again, we're going right back into this. You have this idea, and you really want to bring it forward. You really want to get this started. And here it says you are. No doubts at all, because it is clarifying the emperor and empress. She's filled with ideas. The emperor makes sound, solid decisions. 
that are very impactful and very powerful. And it's being clarified by the Nine of Wands, which is you going for what you want, what you truly want. Okay. Wow, what a reading. Uh-oh. Okay, lots of cards. This column is just filled with cards. <laughs> okay, first one is a tower. Okay, now to explain a little bit about towers. I'm going to end up overlapping, sorry, but there's none of them. Towers can be small, they can be large, they can be self-imposed, they can happen to you. Um, they can be positive, they can be challenging. Okay, any of the above. It depends on all the cards that are with it. But I am sure this is a positive tower. This is probably probably got something to do with what is shaking you out of this energy. You know, like I talked about, be true to yourself. Success after difficulty. So this might be very well what is coming in here. You know, this aha moment. That, oh yeah, I can. I can do this thing. Here, choices, right? Depending on what's going on in your life, the choices can be all wonderful. Or there can be some good, some challenging. And it's saying that you're making a choice or choices that are right for you. And I'm sure by the cards you have out here, you are making the choices that are right for you. Okay, here, this is clarifying this, but I see it really fitting in here quite well. You're walking away from this challenging energy, right? I was sure wish I had more room on this table. If I'd known we were having this many cards, I'd have used a bigger table. You are walking away from this. And going to these, remember the Queen of Pentacles twice, which is your energy, the world, the successful completion of a cycle. Therefore, the beginning of a new one. It all ties in so well. And you're starting this new beginning. So you're walking away from this, closing it out. Starting this new beginning that's going to be lucrative, where you see clearly that you have this, I don't want to say insatiable, but this huge desire to go forward. So, you've done all you can here. You're leaving that and going to this beautiful future. Okay, now we have the Seven of Pentacles. And this is, um, oh, I've heard it described several different ways. Again, this is one of those, it depends on the cards with it. You can say it's the juice worth the squeeze, right? <laughs> Definitely is here, right? You start something, which you are, and you water it, you take care of it, you make sure it has enough, enough sunshine, this is like a garden, and before long, you have these beautiful, beautiful flowers. You're tending to this garden. In other words, you are developing this idea or these ideas that you have. And look what you have again. You have the emperor twice. So, awesome. This is again the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Powerful, powerful decisions that you are making that are to your benefit. It's an awesome reading. It looks like there is one moment. I'm trying to scoot these over a little so you can see these. Um, try to put those there. Yeah. Okay. You are making the decision to get out of this challenging energy. Or this could easily be in the past because all the cards that you have out are saying the energy that you're in is beautiful. So I would tend to see this 
as a past energy. A tower, you know, you were in this energy. Tower comes in to help push you out of that energy so you'll be true to yourself and go forward, think clearly, okay? So all in all, it looks like a beautiful reading, one where you have something that you want to do, something you want to go for, and you it looks like you definitely are going for it, and it is a powerful spread here. Emperor, Empress, King and Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Queen of Pentacles again, and you have the Emperor again, and you're in flow with the spirit. And look at, don't forget this one, happiness. What is happening here is going to bring you much happiness. Absolutely a wonderful reading. Okay, and you have three of the four aces too, by the way. And the magician. Things are looking good. Mm -hmm. So the month of May should prove to be a beautiful month. Maybe initially, or maybe some part, you might have an element of doubt. But you're not going to allow yourself to stay in it. You're going to be true to yourself and go ahead and create what it is you're wanting to start. Okay. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get some advice from the universe. Let me get these cards. They're my itty bitty deck. My little bitty deck of cards. It's hard to, it is so hard. I haven't used them in a while. <laughs> okay, here we go. Advice from the universe. You have the moon. Okay, and the moon is telling you there are some things you don't see or haven't seen. That might be where this comes in. Um, but for you to use your intuition because it will guide you correctly, you will be able to go for your truth, okay? And so the universe is telling you, use your intuition, feed the good side, right? Get yourself out of this energy and be true to yourself. Let's get a couple more cards. See what the universe would like to share. Okay. You have the Four of Cups. This is where you have these three cups that you're not really interested in for some reason. You know, this brings me right back to here. And the universe is handing you a new cup, which you are taking. So it's a little bit different, but the universe is saying, you know, make for sure you don't stay in this energy, that you take this cup that the universe is giving you, which is absolutely beautiful, and go for it. But with all these cards out here, it definitely looks like you are. Mm -hmm. Whoops. And we have one to fill. Again, hold on just a second. Aha. Okay, here we go. You have the Two of Wands, which is saying you know where you want to go. It's like holding the world in your hands. You know which direction you want to take, what you want to develop. And in this case, it looks like this beautiful idea. You're just now starting to figure out how you want to go forward with it. Or, you know, by the end of the month, whatever time frame. I, you know, I say the month of May. But the way we experience time isn't quite the same way as the universe, right? So it could be earlier, later. Uh, it's us putting the time frame. This actually is timeless, right? Anytime that you find it and it speaks to you, it's right for you. But this is saying that you're holding like the world in your hands. You know what you want. You know where you want to go. 
Now you're in the process of figuring out how you want to do it. And you're leaving something behind, which is the self-doubt, the concerns, you know, about will this work? And, oh, yes, it will. So the universe is saying, use your intuition, feed the good side, take the cup the universe is giving you, and go forward and leave the negativity, the challenges behind. All right? And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have judgment. This is talking about you rising up, becoming the whole new you, which is right there. And I didn't look at the bottom of this deck, probably because I know there's no room. All right, so I'm just going to stack these. Here you have the King of Wands. So you have a few different kings here now. The King of Wands is a wonderful energy as well. The King of Wands is passionate, um, attractive, um, enthusiastic. He knows what he wants and he goes for it and he gets it, right? And you have these pages here, uh, or excuse me, these wands throughout here. So this is just like, to me, kind of like the icing on the cake. You are going to go for this, right? Beautiful. One of the best readings I think I've done in a long, long time. I love this. So look forward to a wonderful May. You might have a couple of moments of angst. Do not let the challenging side of things, you know, affect you. Don't feed into the negativity at all. You just let it go, okay? And go for the beauty and the happiness and the flow. And this is a big one. Let spirit be your guide. Spirit, the angels... They're always here for you, okay? Now let's close this out by taking an angel card. See what they would like to share. Wow, what a reading. It's an amazing reading. Okay, let's see what we have. Compromise. But look what I... I don't think it's the compromise so much. It can be a little bit when it comes to this, right? When it comes to letting this go. Tower comes in, you realize, no, not for you. Being in this challenging energy is not right. Compromise. Let go of it and take what's being offered to you. But the thing that's getting me the most here is you see the scales, right? And remember me talking about the Queen of Pentacles being so balanced. And you are very balanced here. Just a moment of angst and the rest of this is absolutely beautiful. Divine counterparts here and there. Mm-hmm. So it's the balance that I see here. Remember, I was talking, I think I was talking about this being so balanced and beautiful, being in the flow with the universe. Love it. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please give it a like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you would care to share sometime, I would love to read in the comments, love to know if this has a ring of truth to you or if something happens in May that is enlightening, okay? It would, you know, it would mean a lot to me because this is just too beautiful. Thank you so much. Much love. Bye.